Martin, can't thank you enough. It's good to actually meet you in the flesh. Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, how, I don't know how many months it's been, but we talked a few months back and it's wonderful to see you here. So for, for our uh, viewers and listeners, more so our viewers, I hope, um, we're at the Enmore Theatre in Sydney, which is one of Sydney's more iconic rock venues. Um, and Martin's extremely kindly agreed to have a bit more of a chat with us um, as part of the Peter Hook and the Light tour. Um, again, thank you. Uh, appreciate it and I just thought we'd start with an initial rundown of your amazing simplified rig so I suppose mate, if you just want to start from the top and go down well as you can see I've got a mini moog and a fender road no, it's just <laughs> I wish it's just it's a really simple setup essentially it's just a controller keyboard and it, all the sounds are emulated through the laptop yep. um, via the host is main stage which is sort of what I'm used to for, you know, for yeah. since its conception, really, with Dubs yeah, yeah. many years ago. That's always been my go-to. But since I've been working with Peter, um, previous keyboard player for Peter was using Reason, Propellerhead's Reason, which I'm familiar with, what was to a certain degree. Um, but I still incorporate that now because the latest incarnation of Reason enables you to use it as a VST, Within main, within main stage. stage, which is brilliant, which really suits me down to the ground. So we've got the best of both worlds there. Mm. So, so on this computer, I've got main stage running um, with on, on many of the patches of Reason. Yeah. And then just on this. So that's what you've got over here. Yeah, and then I've just got Reason running on this one as well, just as a backup, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Reason's running on that main one as well. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to sound it for you. So, you know, there's That's the nice, sound, yeah. Pianos, just straight up. So it's just so simple to get the patch up and... It's instantaneous to go between patches, whereas reason there is a bit of a delay, lag, to a little, yeah. bit of a lag. So, what's your go-to piano uh, patches? Well, a piano, oh, you got Keyscape, I yeah, can see there. Yeah, which I love is so good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the all the uh, pianos they've got, they've got all that wing piano, the tack pianos, which yeah. sound gorgeous in a studio environment. But when you're using it live, they can be a bit woolly. That's right. Yeah, you need something that cuts through. Yeah, yeah. so we mainly just use the the classic grand for that. Um, yeah, I mean, and your right and your roads, your roads patch. That's 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 keyscape. As that's well. keyscape as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've got great Wurlitzes in there as well. And I've got a Wurlitz at home, as you saw. Yeah, we did the. Mm. But you know, you just can't really take them out. No, who wants? It's, just, it's too. It's, not it's too risky. It's not practical. No. I mean, we've had this debate before, and well, people can be a bit snooty about it. Oh, you've got to take your Wurlitz. Oh, you've got to take your. You move out um, or mode as a sense but you know it just enables me to travel all over, to be here in Sydney now which is an incredible opportunity just not financially viable to do with it since well if you had to and I know you don't need to with this job but you could literally uh, check in one extra bag and be able to bring that with you yeah yeah the, under exactly. the 23 kilos yeah. yeah and this is the sort yeah. of way we do it really. yeah. with Peter which enables us all to just travel around the world which is great you know. that's brilliant no, I really appreciate that. That's a, a beautiful, simple rig. And the Axiom, obviously, happy with that. I mean, the Axioms have been yeah. workhorse MIDI I mean, controllers for a long time. Because essentially, it doesn't really matter for me. I'm not too picky about what controller I use. Um, and, you know, these are a bit different, but it's... We hire these in. Yeah, yeah, backline, so of course, yeah. We just yep. basically got a spec in. Yeah. 61 note controller keyboard and so whatever it really turns up and and so we have and Martin deserves huge kudos for his redundancy his redundancy is ready to go there <laughs> and that is well that's a good thing about yeah. this it's as simple as a USB cable yeah, and plug it, it in is. you're ready to go just plug it in yeah away. and it's funny because um, with dogs back in the day you know we, we used to cart things all around the world with us yeah it's incredibly expensive to do that and if you're the one that stands we have this to for of course you're going to do that you're going to take everything with you um, but 
yeah, it's just, this is a good way And obviously you don't backline the Macs, you bring your own Macs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a, you know, lots of programming to do and get it. Uh, yeah, you could, it'd be a nightmare, yeah. yeah. Um, and the focus rights. Yeah, just for the audio interfaces. Yeah. Sim just simple. And the, what's great about these things is if, and when, you, when you're touring, it's they're easily replaceable anywhere in the world. Everyone's got them, yeah. You know, you power goes down, you should go to Max to replace it. So That's right. Focus right, any music yeah. store is going to have one. Yeah, exactly. There. And do you use in-ears? How do you monitor yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, we're half the band on ears. I've always been on ears. Yeah. Which is thankful. Do you remember when you first went to in-ears? Because I, I know yeah. with me, once you've done it, you can't go back. No, you can't go back. Well, I was always really... Um, I just understood the, that you need to care about your ears, basically. But mm. thankfully, early doors got it drummed into me. I went to a seminar. Oh, yeah. It's just... Um, it was one of the first things when I was at music college. It was like the very first lecture was... Looking after your ears. Look after your ears. We always wear earplugs. They give you earplugs. And, and it, it was one of those things where you're, you know, you're 18, you're like, oh, really? But then it really did hit home to me. And so I always used to wear just foam earplugs. And so when I finally did move to in ears, it was like, yeah, I used to hold the world. Yeah, it was the opposite of people that they used to wedges, and then when they go to an ears, like, yeah, because you cut out all the ambience and everything. I was already really climatized to that, so it was fine. Thankfully, yeah. you know, I'm still here. Right? And you're still that's right. Yeah, no, good stuff. No, excellent, love it, Martin. I love the simplicity. I'd have to say that's a more simple rig than my cover band rig, <laughs> which is brilliant. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Yeah, no, it's excellent. I, mean, I must admit, I do like the simplicity of it as well. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's just great. I mean, I've used multiple setups. I mean, with different bands, you know, we used different setups as well, obviously. Yeah. Because we came here a couple of years ago to do the orchestrated versions, and then we used a real grand piano there in the opera house. So it's not always like this, but it's just, especially the music we're performing tonight, it's quite simple lines. Yes, that's right. Wood line. Yeah. So, it doesn't require all bells and whistles, no. which I'm fine with as well. No, absolutely. Whatever works for the show, you know. Yes, yeah, yeah. And um, I think we asked you that question on the podcast. You're obviously a stander because they don't see a stool. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's interesting because I've, I've always been a, a seater. Yeah, okay. Always. Um, that sort of Ray Manzarit. Yes. Style, style of playing, that's always been my thing. And I don't know for this one, I just... Why not? Yeah. Hmm? It does give it more energy, though, as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I agree totally. So it's quite fun. It and I think it's fair to out. say Peter Hook's audiences are energetic. That's one of the things you absolutely get at one of these shows. Yeah, and it's a long show as well, so it's yeah. better for your back. Yes, it is better. <laughs> Martin, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Can't thank you enough. And um, here's to a great gig tonight. Thank and um, we yeah, look forward to seeing it ourselves. And again, for everyone, there's the brilliant venue. What a venue. Thank you, sir.